this is one reason why uh doesn't want to supply the Israeli government with any more U.S. weapons because they have been using them to breach international law and Biden doesn't want to be considered complicit in any kind of uh, international law violation by the Israeli government with the use of U.S. weapons. Now, we're just going to bring you some news that's been uh, developing while we've been on air tonight. The U.S. government has said that Israel may have used U.S. supplied weapons in breach of international humanitarian law, in some instances during the war in Gaza. These findings are in a review ordered by the White House. Let's find out more from our correspondent Tom Bateman in Washington. Uh, what more do we know, Tom? I mean, the U.S. government does whatever it can to defend the Israeli government, but it looks like they've gone past the point of what the United States is willing to defend since they're willing to admit that the Israeli government has breached international law and we're using U.S. weapons to do so. Jane, this has been a long-awaited report by uh, the State Department here after, as you say, President Biden ordered a review of, in fact, seven countries and the way in which they were using U.S. supplied weapons. Now, that had come, of course, under growing pressure on the president, particularly from human rights organizations and from parts of his democratic base, to investigate and verify whether or not U.S. weapons were being used in breach of international humanitarian law in Gaza. Now, such was the work that has gone into this. The State Department here missed its own deadline on this by three days, but we've had the... And this is against the Israeli government constantly saying that they follow every single international law, uh, that they don't kill innocent civilians, that uh, they're the most moral uh, military in the world, yet here they are uh, violating international laws and you in using U.S. applied weapons to do so report in the last 10 minutes. And the key line is this. It says it is reasonable to assess that weapons supplied by the United States have been used by Israeli security forces since October the 7th in instances inconsistent with international humanitarian law. Now that that is clearly a rebuke of Israel, but it stops short of saying that that should then lead to any uh, further withholding of US weapons because it says it takes its assurances about dealing with and investigating these incidents as credible. So a very important line there. Uh, I think it signifies the way in which President Biden has been caught in a bind between parts of his base who want more weapons withheld from Israel and those who say that he is already not showing enough support to his key ally in the region.